Ooh. Where'd he pull a grenade out of? His crotch? His cleavage. Yeah, cleavage. Right? We did pull one of these. I need to see more cleavage <laughs> to get the whole example. <laughs> Howdy folks, welcome back to you, me, and the movies. And we got a new franchise to dive into today. The Kingsman. Oh, okay. Came out in 2015, the first movie. Kingsman, the Secret Service. It's like James Bond. It's like James Bondy, but, like, but more comedy, right? Yeah, a little more slapsticky comedy and not slapstick, but like, yeah. Just a little comedy. bit like more yeah. humorous. More adult. Okay. Right. And we've got three films to get through, starting with the Secret Service. Nice. I think I'm gonna like these actually. I think so. I've heard they're pretty good. I like secret. I like Secret Service. You like spies? I do love a good spy. You movie. like a good spy movie? Yeah. So yeah, that's the first time watch for both of us. Nice. And so, I mean, I think if this first one came out right when we had Charlie, just right after. So it yeah. was like, well, we missed There's the first one. Babies, baby. We're not baby gonna watch man. the any of the other ones. So never. But now we get to watch them. All right. With you guys. Love it. So yeah. Well, are you ready to get our Kingsman on? I sure as hell am. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe, come hang out with us for the Kingsman. Oh, yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below. We will find early access, full income, early access to pull ups, pickle watch sex. Links down there. Check it out. Let's watch Kingsman The Secret Service. Here we go. I added the before Kingsman. I apologize. It's just Kingsman, not the Kingsman. No, that's the third movie. It's called The Kingsman. Oh, okay. Or The King's Man. Yeah, I'm assuming it's like a group. It's like the origin of the special King's service. Man. King's Man. King's Man. Whatever. Kingsman. Spider-Man. 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 It's not a last name. Spider-Man. He's a Spider-Man. Marv? I that's, can't see. That's can hard see to something? see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not colorblind. Red and green colorblind <laughs> could be. Middle East, 1997. It's a hell of a boombox. Jeez. Oh, is this a 3D movie? Might be. Oh, look out! Such cheesy graphics. Duh. Yeah. I was shooting the gap, it's fine. Almost didn't make it through that sea. Oof. Where'd he pull a grenade out of? His crotch? His cleavage. Yeah, cleavage. Right? We did pull one of these. I need to see more cleavage <laughs> to get the whole example. Training is over. Welcome to Kingsman. So this was just a training exercise? Yikes. Pretty realistic training exercise, huh? I would like to present you with this Medal of Valor. And if you look closely on the back, there's a number. Just tell the operator, Oxford's not Brogues. I don't want your help. I want my husband back. Well, that, that can't happen, so... Wouldn't you rather have a favor than nothing? You take care of this, Exy. All right. And take care of your mum, too. That metal's the symbol of the... the Kingsman. No shit. <laughs> Kingsman! Argentina, 17 years later. Jeez, wonder what the altitude on that place is. 
Just a tiny bit more. Oh, for God's sake, just rid it off. I'm under very strict. <laughs> Get the 62 Dalmont. Hmm. Honestly, this whiskey. They all look the same. I suppose asking to borrow a cup of sugar is a step too far. Ouch. Mm -hmm. There goes your trigger finger. Why don't you just shoot him in the head to begin with? Professor Arnold. Somebody's getting whiskey. Oi. Uh oh. Another one? Yeah, but whatever. It's Lieutenant Dan's sister. Yeah, good one. Can you hold these, please? Wait, that's what she cut him in half with? Yeah, her foot. Yeah, no one will notice the feet. <laughs> My kind of welcome. The American branch of similar secret service? I don't know. Listen, I'm so sorry you had to witness all this. I love the list. <laughs> ah, yes, a suit store. I think it's a front. Mm -hmm. The others were beginning to wonder if we were going to have a double toast. Gentlemen. Cool. Lancelot was an outstanding agent and a true kingsman. He will be sorely missed. Why don't they have a round table? They're not knights. The, the guy's name's Lancelot. This is his last transmission. Who is he? Some climate change doomsayer expounds he's not actually missing. This is Professor Arnold. At Imperial College this morning. Yeah. Samuel L. Jackson let him go. Just went and put him back. Or they have a copycat. The boy's all grown up. I'll tell you what. Why don't you take this, go and get some Mizzlers, get yourself some sweets. And while you're gone, we'll show your mother how free can be good company. Ew. Thanks, babe. Yuck. One of these days, I'm going to smash his face in. Are you mental, cuz? he just get that lot to do you, and then pretend you knew nothing. Hey! You think you can chat shit about us so we won't do nothing just because our governor's banging eggs his mum? Pretty much, yeah. But I've just... <laughs> Was Moms dating a gang leader? Looks like it. You jacked his fucking car keys, bruv. Yeah. Now we're gonna nick his car. Oh shit. You guys burden you backwards. Yeah. Oopsie. Don't want to hit that cat. Should've just hit the cat. Ooh. Interesting life choices. Now you can start giving me some names of the boys you were with. They didn't do anything. Oh, time to call in the favor, huh? Does he remember the code word? Oxford's not broke. 
Your complaint has been duly noted. And we have- Oxford's nut bros? <laughs> I do understand that. Oxford's nut bros? I don't know. I don't know what he's fucking saying. Your father was a brave man. A good man. And having read your files, I think you'd be bitterly disappointed in the choices you've made. You can't talk to me like that. Huge IQ, great performance at primary school. Great at driving backwards. And if we was born with the same silver spoon up our asses, we'd do just as well as you. If not better. What the fuck are you doing here? You taking a piss? Some more examples of young men who simply need a silver suppository. <laughs> You should get out of the way, Granddaddy. You'll get hurt and all. He ain't joking. You should go. <laughs> she about to do these guys. He's gonna about to open up a can of whoop ass on him. Ow. Ooh. Oh shit. <laughs> Cool gadgets. Cool gadgets, yeah. Ow. (laughs) What was that? Neuralized him. Uh, But by that time, it's just the bottom of a beer, you know. I don't think there's a bad part of a Guinness. What are these guys gonna do when they wake up? In celebrity news, the Richmond Valentine movie premiered in Hollywood last night. The story of the internet billionaire's rise to power is expected to be this award season's hot ticket. So he's an internet billionaire? Who was with you in that fucking pub? I want to know the name of the geezer you was with. I wasn't with no one. I want it. I don't know what you're on about. I want it. I don't know what you're fucking on. I want to know his fucking name. I swear. It's a test. Yep. Eggsy, meet me at the tailor I told you about. What the fuck's going on here? (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. Parkour. Legit, though, like legit parkour. <laughs> I can parkour. <laughs> Insert parkour video. <laughs> I see a young man with potential. A young man who is loyal, who can do as he's asked, and who wants to do something good with his life. Did you see the film Trading Places? Oh, yeah, it's a great film. Yeah. Pretty woman. All right. I love Pretty Woman. If you're prepared to adapt and learn, you can transform. You know, like in My Fair Lady. All right, the awful of surprises. Yes, like My Fair Lady. I haven't seen that one. You haven't seen My Fair Lady? Hmm. Independent international intelligence agency operating at the highest level of discretion about the politics and bureaucracy that undermine the integrity of government run. The suit is a modern gentleman's armor. The Kingsman agents are the new knights. Oh, so oh they are knights. Private. The round table. They're mm. not government. Independent. Yeah. One of those big <laughs> tubes. Mm. Fancy. It's like those tubes at the bank. You don't know how they get them until (laughs) they get there. Holy moly. Galahad. My code name. Late again, sir. Good luck. What's this code name going to be? I don't know. Something knight-like. In the world. One of you, and only one of you, will become the next Lancelot. Mm. You will each collect a body bag. You will write your name on that bag. You will write the details of your next of kin on that bag. This represents your acknowledgement of the risks that you're about to face 
as well as your agreement to strict confidentiality. Yikes. It will result in you being in that bag. Is that understood? <laughs> no He's the only one like, uh, what? Eggy, are you Oxford or Cambridge? Neither. St. Andrews? Durham? No, wait, I think we may have met. Did you serve me at the McDonald's in Winchester service? Station? Yeah, I mean, listen to no. his accent. But if I had, I'd have given you an extra open of secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it's just scare tactics. Classic army technique. No one's gonna die. <laughs> Except for those three. You might. You might die. Now, if you really want to make the world a better place, I suggest you open your fucking ears because I'm about to tell it to you. Oh, it's the bad time. <laughs> oh, he's talking to the president? Yeah, that was clearly Barack Obama. Oh. <laughs> Oh shit. Okay, he's got good lung capacity, huh? Exit. Well done for spotting that was a two way mirror. You all forgot the most important thing. Teamwork. You left one behind. So much for classic army technique. Yikes. Oh, jeez. Didn't even notice she was missing. Did she not wake up? She drowned. I know, I'm just saying, did she not wake up? She did, water? she just... Freaked she was out. closest oh, to the man. door, and then... Must not have been able to make it. Well trained he was, so I suggest you tell me who kidnapped you and why they let you go. I have no idea what to talk. I'm not supposed to say it, but it was. Ah, ah. For God's sake, I barely touched you. Oh, my. He's a robot. Told you, copycat. Oh shit! Whoa. That guy, whoever he is, I'm gonna. No, that oh. he just had a bomb inside of him. Shit. We're here to enhance your skills, test you to the limit, which is why you're gonna pick a puppy. Oh. For it, you will teach it, and by the time it's fully trained, so will you be. Which puppy are you picking? <laughs> that tiny little pug. <laughs> tiny little pug. A poodle. What? They're gun dogs. He picked the pug. <laughs> a pug. It's a bulldog, isn't it? No. <laughs> it's also not going to be like that practical either, because like, it's not going to sniff out anything like a German Shepherd yeah. or. Hey, you never know. <laughs> Properly trained. What about Harry's footage? It didn't stream to his home terminal. Encrypted and uncrackable. Doesn't Merlin feel a little shady to you? It's just because you know that guy usually plays a bad guy. Oh, look, it's a howdy dude! Come on, come on. <laughs> a little tiny pug. Just pick, just pick it up! He's so tiny! <laughs> So cute. It's a pocket pug. He just needs to sing him the P puppy dog pal song. <laughs> yeah, P -p -p puppy dog. Is he making SIM cards? Mm, something. Memory cards? We scared him. Oh, his hair's long. He's been out for a while. He grew a beard. You have exactly one hour to complete the test, starting now. 
Well, I've been training for a while. How's that for positive discrimination? He's a good shot, too. Mm. <laughs> you are completely crazy. May I listen? No! Sorry, I... your royal highness. Ready to press her. She must sharpen the shit out of those. I'd be afraid to, like, hurt myself. <laughs> it's how she lost one of her legs. I implanted something into him. Probably what they implanted in the Mark Hamill's character that blew him up, right? Merlin said you wanted to see me? <laughs> Take a look at this. Fucking hell. That is rank, Harry. You blew up his head. It's a bit much, innit? <laughs> it's not much of a lead. He has millions of employees worldwide. Matt Richmond Valentine is a genius. Did you not see his announcement today? As of tomorrow, every man, woman, and child can claim a free FEM card compatible with any cell phone, any computer, and free calls, free internet, for everyone. Oh, yep. Sounds like a great deal. Sounds like a great way to implant the entire... Where do I sign up? <laughs> the entire world with something. Eggsy's giving them intel. He's having a gala dinner next week. I'll get you an invitation. You need to be careful, though. Since you've been out, hundreds of VIPs have gone missing all And I suggest you make my alias somebody worth kidnapping. Disguises? Mission is to land in the target without the radar detecting you. If I read you on the radar, or you miss the target, you go home. No pressure. I have a feeling somebody's shoot's not gonna open. Follow me, yes? She coming? She better, or she's gonna miss her target. A Kingsman agent needs to be able to solve problems under pressure. Like what to do when one of your group has no parachute. Well, one of them just doesn't have a parachute. You just grab hands. Yeah, yeah, hug each other. Pull your shoots at the same time. Come on, guys. Pull, 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 pull. Pull, 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 pull. pull. It's gonna be the last person that doesn't have a parachute. Hug each other and pull. <laughs> Fuck you, pull it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. Everyone's alive. No one broke any legs. Roxy, congratulations. You set a new record. Opening at 300 feet, that's pretty ballsy. <laughs> but why the fuck did you choose me as the gim? A mighty expendable candidate. No, 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 you don't talk to me like that. He has a parachute. Shoulder. They all had a, a parachute. It was a teamwork test. Yeah. Mr. DeVere, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm awfully sorry, I seem to have my dates muddled up. Oh, no, 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 I canceled the gala because of you. Anybody willing to donate that much deserves their own dinner. Well, a one-on-one -on -one meeting? Look, I'm just into finding out what caliber person you are. I'm sure you understand that. I most certainly do. Do they suspect he's connected to that other guy? I don't know. Well, she's not even wearing her boots. Not even hiding it, is she? I'll have the Big Mac, please. Great choice. But nothing beats two cheeseburgers with secret sauce. Goes great with this 45 Lafitte. 
A classic pairing. And may I suggest Twinkies in a 1937 Chateau Ikem? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I sometimes envy the blissful ignorance of those less well-versed in there. She says a whole bowl of secret sauce. <laughs> You like spy movies, Mr. DeVere? I always felt the old Bond films were only as good as the villain. As a child, I rather fancied a future as a colorful megalomaniac. <laughs> and thank you for such a happy meal. <laughs> <laughs> Did he get a toy? I don't think so. Put a nano tracker gel in the wine. We'll know his every move for the next 24 hours. Uh-oh. Nano tracker are gel. Be, are they gonna be able to figure that out? I don't think so. By the way, our ever-growing list of missing persons now includes Scandinavian royalty, royal crown princess Tilde. Just let me out. Anybody that declines his offer gets put in a little dungeon? Yep. The list of missing celebrities and dignitaries has continued to grow in recent weeks. Does he have enough dungeon space? In other news, people all over the world continue to wait in line day and night to get. Oh, Eggsy's mom. Who's this? Your target. Your mission is to use your NLP training to win over the individual on the photograph in your envelope. And when I say win over, I do mean in the biblical sense. <laughs> Posh girls love a bit of rough. We'll see about that, yeah. We certainly will. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she goes for her. For her. <laughs> She's gonna go for Roxy. Saying something negative to a pretty girl in order to undermine her social value. <laughs> it's supposed to make you want to win his approval. <laughs> Is it just me or does his champagne taste a little bit funny? Yeah, it's an acquired taste, mate. I think it's just cheap. Get one of these instead. It's called an opinion opener. Got you talking with a neutral question. Got all of us involved in the conversation so that you crave individual attention. Ma, I'm just saying the champagne tastes right. Ladies, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry to eavesdrop, but you know there's a much easier way to guarantee getting someone home. Rahip, no. Oh, no. <laughs> they drugged them all. Who drugged them? Valentine's not already onto the trainees, are they? Or is this, like, part of the training exercise? I would imagine. Congratulations. Bloody well done. Oof. Charlie's up next. Want to watch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> but think he fails? Definitely. I'll tell you what you want, please. Just the king's Arthur. Arthur's head of a spy agency. It's cool. King I had such high hopes for you. You're a bloody disgrace. Grandfather. This is like grandpa. Or at least his recruiter. <laughs> Galahad, Percival, congratulations. Mm, Percival? You should know your father reached this point. From now on, there are no safety nets, understood? Oh, his dad died on the final test. Mm -hmm. That's why. Time to go home. Fuck you! Fucking dad's gonna hear about this! <laughs> Better hope not. My first mission foiled the assassination of Margaret Thatcher. Not everybody would thank you for that one. <laughs> What's wrong with a simple switch? A simple switch? This is an extremely dangerous machine. It should only be operated by someone as responsible and sane as me. <laughs> Falls into the wrong hand. Whoa. What was it scanning? So you're going to teach me how to talk proper like a my fair lady? Don't be absurd. As Hemingway said, there is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior to your former self. Fitting room two is available. One does not use fitting room two 
when one is popping one's cherry. Perhaps I'll show you fitting room three while we wait. Oh, fitting room two. I don't know. Do you see it? Of course not. Pull the hook on your left. Toys. I bet it's toys. An Oxford is any formal shoe with open lacing. This additional decorative piece is called broguing. Oxford's not brogues. Words to live by, Exe. Words to live by. Oh, that's the code word. Oxford's not brogues. And this is our standard issue pistol. It's quite unique, as you'll see. It also fires a shotgun cartridge for use in messy, close-range situations. Cool. Cool. Now do your very best impersonation of a German aristocrat's formal greeting. No. <laughs> that is sick. How do I get it back in? Well, it's coated with one of the fastest acting neurotoxins known to man, so very carefully. <laughs> what do these do? Electrocute you. Don't be ridiculous. It's a hand grenade. Shut up. You want to electrocute someone, you'll need a signet ring. Touch the contact behind the ring, it delivers 50,000 volts. Damn. What makes them so special? Nothing. That technology's caught up with the spy world. Put it back. Exit. Myth to the beer! Ah, shit. What's up, man? Rhythm and Valentine. This is my new valet. I was just introducing him to my tailor. A valet? They actually say it that way? It's not valet? Mm hmm I might suggest Locke and Co. Hatters. St. James's. Locked as in smoked fish? As in locked up. I have trouble understanding you people sometimes. You all talk so funny. I wonder if the list was Samuel Jackson's choice. Probably. Probably. Yeah, like, I'm gonna throw something new into this. Yeah. Was that a trick? Did Hopefully. he Hopefully it's like a secret. Uh it's a hat with a microphone in it. Yep. There is a microphone in it. Pretty dog. What's his name? JB. As in James Bond? No. Jason Bourne? No. Jack Bauer? Oh! Yeah! 24. Shoot the dog. Um. Shoot the dog. That's the right answer. Not to kill it, because you should only kill something that needs to be killed, deserves to be killed, that has done something to be killed. At least the girl's got balls. Get out. So he failed? Welcome to Kingsman. Last slot. Bummer. That was a messed up test. Yeah, but now he's got a best friend. <laughs> Can I have a word about my mum's black eye? You want to have a word with me? You get out of that cab, I'll knock you straight back down on your fucking ass. What are you doing? Uh oh. It's a sweet remote control car. I'm confused. Did he pass the test then? No. Taking his dog home. You shot a dog just to get a fucking job? Yes, I did. Mr. Pickle here reminds me of that every time I take a shit. You shot your dog and that is stuffed. That's weird. I shot my dog and then I brought him home and continued to care for him for the next 11 years until he died of pancreatitis. What? It shot was in the black. foot? Exit. Oh. Uh... Remember Amelia? Yeah. She didn't drown. She works in our tech department in Berlin. She's fine. <laughs> our World War II was a complete success. We have total cover -off. Like when all your numbers and bingo are crossed out. Bingo. Oh man, the queen? If I test to go well at the church tomorrow, we are good to go. What kind of test is he conducting? You do not have to be a 
Science, love, and evolution spouter. Charming sermon. Can you see Valentine anywhere? <laughs> I don't think he would be out there publicly. You sure we're out of range? We're over a thousand feet away. What's wrong? What if the calculations are wrong? You just have to trust me. Oh, um, are they using them as. Do they have. Do they have chips in their necks that they're targeting them from? They with? have phones. What's your problem? I'm a Catholic whore. Currently enjoying Congress out of wedlock with my black Jewish boyfriend who works in a military abortion clinic. So hail Satan and have a lovely afternoon, madam. <laughs> oh, they don't have the implants, they just have the SIM cards in their phones. Yeah, keep up, man. Why is he killing everyone? Was it because of the signal from the phones making everybody go? I mean, they're all fighting each other. Oh, you think it just made them all go crazy? It didn't blow them up. I was expecting. Yeah, he's bomb. He's not in control. No. I and mean, he's just winning because he's a badass. <laughs> this was a real moment of like, keep up, keep up, Kayla. Come on. Like, was not putting two together. I was like, what is happening here? <laughs> oh, he just got stabbed. I'm the one that knew it was the SIM cards, but I had no idea what was happening. Such an idiot. I thought that he was going to use the SIM cards for, like, a targeting, like, a weapon with a satellite or something. He's going to be the only one that walks out of that place, right? Yeah. Walked right into his own bomb. That was so stupid. Did he just wake up? Yep. Or maybe not. Jeez. Save the priest for last. Not a priest. This is not a Catholic church. Pastor. So the signal triggered him, but it didn't trigger anybody watching his feed. Right? Yeah. I had no control. I killed all those people. Well, some of them killed each other. No! Bummer. Is he not in the other ones? Okay, send out the countdown clock. This party starts tomorrow. Oh, shit. Who avoids being killed? I think that's his plan. Just the elites with He's the chips in He's trying to kill the human virus to save the planet. Yeah, do you... Yeah, what... Anybody with the chip probably survives? Maybe. Anybody not in range? Well, Eggsy fills his place. Galahad was very fond of you. He's got the chip. And on this occasion, I think it's acceptable. Diesel Kingsman. Yes, they're uh, founder members. I want you to join me in a toast. What did he just do when he looked the other way? Can you guess what this is? I don't have to. Harry showed me. You click it, I die. I thought that brandy tasted a bit shit. <laughs> Bravo. Oh, he swapped the glasses. There's only one of two ways this can go. The host kills the virus, or the virus kills the host. Either way, the result is the same. The virus dies. So Valentine's going to take care of the population problem himself. He just doesn't want to be the one that dies, so he got the chip. In Harry's honor, I am inviting you to be part of a new world. Harry just told him that they only kill to save a life. Mm -hmm. Right? 
thanks. So be it. Oops. You dirty little fuck. Cut it open. Valentine's pocket and who's not? Have no choice. We're gonna have to deal with this ourselves. I thought he was fishy. I did. It was Michael Caine who was the bad guy the whole time. Dang. Misjudgment. The fuck is this? I have no idea. It's a prototype personal trans atmospheric vehicle. It was developed as part of Reagan's Star Wars project. It's, it's an exosuit? Like Ripley. expand when you reach the edge of the atmosphere they'll explode we need to deploy your missile just before that okay the edge of the atmosphere so is she trying to blow up the satellite yeah a satellite i think merlin can drive a plane huh fly a plane are they gonna go to the bunker then the plane the fuck's wrong with them i don't know could have something to do with the mass genocide give me the mic Nobody's excited about it. I just want to remind you that today is a day of celebration. She's gathered like the oldest group of fucking people too. Like, how are they going to reproduce? We're both the story of Noah's Ark. Here's Noah. Guess they're not all old, but. No. I would not be partying knowing what's going to happen. Looking dapper. Looking good, Exit. Feeling good, man. <laughs> That's trading places. Looking mm. good. Feeling good. Sixty bad guys with guns and anti-air missiles. I'm sure you've adhered to Valentine's strict no weapons policy, but if you don't object, of course. Do you have any luggage? Congratulations, Mycroft. You just graduated from my pilot to my valet. You cheeky. Understood. Is he gonna put on his his suit, or is he just gonna stay in the plane? I don't know. Man in the man in his ear. Would Sir care for a drink? Martini. Gin, not vodka, obviously. Stirred for 10 seconds while glancing at an unopened bottle of vermouth. Thank you. <laughs> Chester King. How'd you get online? I couldn't. Oh, well, it's a closed network, you see. Pre-authorized connections only. Why do you need to be on network? Who are you talking to? Everyone's about to die. <laughs> Maybe he's, like, IMing his friend in another bunker. Come on, Lancelot. Good luck. Firing in three, two. Shit! 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 Nice and slow. What the fuck are you doing here? Well, my family were invited. Oh, cause. Cause he's rich. Chester, I think, was his grandfather or something. Oh fuck! If that young valet. Go, Roxy. Hopefully that does the trick. What's part of the plan, though? She just did a parachute down. It's killing it. Oh, shit.
Uh, Valentine's base is just like a Bond villain's base. <laughs> yeah. Parkour. Tighten those abs, girl. Does she not have a parachute? Get control of that spin. <laughs> Oh, she was getting it under radar. That's why she had to wait. Gotcha. We've lost one of our satellites. Oh, they're probably going to have to reroute. It's not over yet. You're going to have to get in there and make sure his hand never touches that desk. Are you taking the fucking piss? I'm afraid not. What's that button in? Uh-uh. Got to run all the way back. This is mine. I'll show you yours. <laughs> Hope you got lots of ammo. Well, he only had 60 guards. He probably took out about half of them already. Probably. Anything else? Probably all of them. V Glass, call E Man. E is V. You need a piggyback. One of my satellites just went down, but it's right next to one of yours. You read my mind. <laughs> Who is he talking? Is that supposed to be Elon? E, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, that's like 60 guys right there. Maybe that was just the external forces. Oh, dang. That one's got some oomph. That's <laughs> so just going to blow him up. <laughs> Remember those implants you said were of no use to us? Any chance you can turn them on? Oh, he has access to the computer. Smart thinking, Eggsy. Oh, <laughs> shit! Theatrical. <laughs> oh, jeez. She doesn't have one, does she? I don't think so. She was a part of his inner circle. She didn't need one, right? Oh, my God. That is fucking spectacular. <laughs> Aren't you that princess that went missing? You can't get me out. Well, if I do, will you give me a kiss? I've always wanted to kiss a princess. If you get me out right now, I give you more than just a kiss. <laughs> you didn't stop. Yeah. Well, fine. I've locked the door. What do you want to do? It's still happening. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. Sorry, love. You've got to save the world. If you save the world, we can do it in the asshole. I'll be right back. <laughs> Did she just say if you save the world, we can do it in the asshole? <laughs> yes. What the fuck? <laughs> European girls are different, babe. <laughs> Oh, geez, how did we stop this? You did it! Oh, it's only why he's a... He has to have his hand on it. Okay. Oh, shit. Shoot her now. Yikes. Oh, oh, shit. Yikes. They're breakdance fighting. Ooh, 
Ooh. It'd be flexible. He sliced her. Oh, that kills. Yeah. You don't remember him saying it's got poison, like toxin on it? In it? I thought it just knocked out. Take one of her legs. Chuck that shit. Oh, God. Hurry up! Ugh. Can't handle the sight of blood. Yeah. Oof, you almost did. She wasn't in control, though. Look at all those people with no heads. <laughs> it's the part where you say some really bad pun. This ain't that kind of movie, bruv. Perfect. He's gonna make out with the princess. I think he's gonna do more than make Get out. Get some butt stuff happen. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, oh, good for him for not being a pervert, huh? Yeah. Turned it off. Would you be able to turn that off? Probably not. Yeah, right? <laughs> Wait, it's not over yet. Eggsy, I'm going to shove your manners up your fuck. So, are we going to stand around here all day? Or are we going to fight? Think those guys fought him, or are they... I bet they just walked away because they've encountered that kind of fight before and didn't so end well seems for them. familiar. Yeah. All right. Well. Kingsman, the Secret Service. Eggsy saves the world. Interesting. What do you think? It wasn't as funny as I was hoping it was going to be, but yeah. it was all in good fun. Yeah. It was just a. It wasn't really a comedy. It was no. just a fun play on the spy. Mm -hmm. Genre, right? Mm -hmm. With a private organization. Yes. I thought that was interesting. Well connected, though. Well connected, yeah. And they still seem to have some pull with like the police. Yes. They got Eggsy out, so. Interesting. But nobody seems to know about them still. Yeah, or, I wonder how they maintain their funding. Do they really explain that? They said it's all private funded, right? Yeah. Um, old money. And all the old heirs died money. in the world wars. So. They put their money to a small band of knights. Yes. Oh, that was cool. Fun gadgets. Yeah, kind of a fun play on like Knights of the Round Table, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still think the best part, though, was uh, the score table. Oh, no. Chips blowing all the elites' heads off. Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> totally backfiring. Total backfire. Whoops. Yeah. I guess his plan shouldn't have been hand activated, it should have just been pushed a button. Mm hmm. And then it would have worked, right? Right. Like him having all that. Whose idea was that? His idea was all that security, mm -hmm. so only he could push it. But he had to hold it down. Yeah. Until everybody beat themselves up to death, right? Yeah, it's an interesting choice. Yeah. This movie wouldn't have worked if it uh, hadn't been that way. So. Yeah. Well, it's the old evil genius's fault. So. There you go. All right. Well, Roxy's like only save. Her the plan to take out the satellite, what she did, only gave them time. Right. right? And then she kinda of really didn't do anything after that. I was hoping she would have joined the fight. No, she called her called the yeah. his mom. Yeah, put her Thanks. Put a sister behind the door, yeah. But I was hoping she would have parachuted towards And the, actually helped. Yeah. Yeah, that could have been beneficial. And where were the other Kingsmen that we saw in the meetings? Yeah, right? nowhere was, to be seen. They must be working in the field somewhere remotely. Yeah, because they probably have a different. Somewhere else seems to be more important than the end have of the a world. Different, too. like that was. We probably just saw the the London office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, different branches. Have, yeah, I'm sure. Other branches and mm -hmm. other continents. But still, you feel like it was uh, worthy enough to bring yeah, everybody yeah. together to rally the troops, if Things you will. Assemble, yeah. right? 
But yeah, I was disappointed in Michael Caine's character. I know. I understand the logic in the evil plan. Mm-hmm. Humans virus plans warming because there's too many of us. It's a bit of an extreme Gotta solution. Gotta call the herd. Mm-hmm. Very yeah. extreme solution. I think uh, you let nature handle the, the culling. Right? Mother Earth can protect itself. Yeah. She's done it before. She'll do it again. <laughs> she needs a big asteroid. Here. See ya, dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> Stop farting in my air. Oh, man. Uh, all right. Well, who was, uh, what was your favorite Kingsman gadget? I liked that umbrella. The umbrella? The bulletproof umbrella? Bulletproof. With the, the, and you could see through yeah. it. Yeah. So that was the pretty sniper cool. rifle shot through it, though. So it's not high yeah, caliber. Yeah, not. Uh, but that makes sense. Not infallible, but. I'm sure that sniper probably wouldn't. It'd probably go through his suit, too. The yeah, suit. I would say Which it would go for in, just uh, about anything. John Wick, too. So bulletproof suit. Oh, yeah, where, I like that. Where was the first bulletproof suit invented know. for spy movies? Probably like Get Smart or something. Yeah. Or maybe a Bond movie back in the day. Maybe. So, yeah. What do you think of Samuel Jackson's lisp? I thought it was a, a brilliant choice, yeah. actually. I, I'm like wondering if, if you read the script and he saw the line of, you guys all talk funny. <laughs> so he's like, <laughs> I'm going to make that even funnier <laughs> by having my character have a list the whole time. So when he says that line, yeah. it's super ironic and that funny. Pretty funny. Right? So well, that was pretty good. He played a good bad guy in this. So. He did. That leg, I wonder how she lost her legs and became a ninja. I know. That was pretty clever. It was clever. Very interesting. So it was making fun of Bond movies, but also totally being a Bond, Bond movie. cliche. Absolutely. At the same time. Like yeah. Valentine's base was totally Bond mm -hmm. villain base from the 60s and 70s movies. And he had a sidekick with special blade legs. It's, you know, kind of like, I don't remember any Bond sidekicks Jaws, having blade, blade legs. His metal teeth. Yeah. Or what's his name that threw the hat? Mm. You know, just a cliche. Cliche, yeah. Bad guy with a special thing. Great. Right. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm excited to see where they go next chapter. Totally. All right. What should people comment on after Kingsman, the Secret Service? Favorite gadget. Yeah, okay, what's your favorite gadget? Mm hmm. Favorite gadget. Yeah. And uh, let us know your favorite member of the Kingsman in this movie. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the old guys. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Come back next week for the second Kingsman movie. Yeah, the Golden Circle. Ooh. And check out our Patreon link down below for more early access to our videos, full company, access to polls, hopes people watch next. Thanks for there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.